So you've lived in Johannesburg your whole life. Mm. And in fact, you've lived in Kensington your whole life, uh, I yeah, believe. Yes. And how, how do you sort of see the, the changes that have occurred over the years? And what are your reminiscences of uh, your early years and, you know, your childhood years here? And how has life changed? changed? Well, I think for me, it hasn't really changed. Mm. For the country, it's changed in that schools that were formerly all white are now a mixture of white and black. Some of them have got only a, a, a few white pupils, but Leicester Road still has quite a few white pupils. Um, people are, are more tolerant than they were. I think when I was young, the, 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 the National Party was, was really just, was, was, it was ideologically not terribly far from from a, from the German Nazi Party, except that they, they they'd given up on persecuting Jews. That 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 failed. But as far as blacks were concerned, um, their, their 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 attitude was to regard them as subhuman. Mm. They they may have paid lip service to separate development and all those things, but but the reality was a was was what is called in Afrikaans baskap, bossship, mm. <laughs> or authoritarianism, mm. and um, we at least we don't have that. Um, people are more tolerant of the, the, there is crime that's unfortunate, and there is less efficiency mm. than than there was. But uh, I, I believe the the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. We're living in a, I believe we're living in a pleasant society. People are friendly. There isn't that hatred uh, between the races that there was. So although we, we, we are, we experiencing growing pains, I believe it will come right. Mm. So you're quite hopeful for a future South Africa for all, mm. all its inhabitants. Yes. At least we're not on the verge of a civil war as we were before.